that time again man welcome to another hip-hop gaming show got a banging show for you guys as always but first we got my top 10 e3 predictions you already know what's going down this is that week sir we get this is what we wait for as gamers man so i'm real hype about that can't wait to see what goes down and um yo between microsoft and sony that's the true head that's going on uh, you know leave your comments let me know who you think is gonna win all right you know what i'm saying but here's my predictions right now Yo, yo, what's up, man? It's that time again, son. It's that time again, son. So just let you know, first off, thanks to everybody that showed me, like, crazy support. This, this is, I think, my sixth E3 or something like that ever since 2008. My sixth or the fifth, whatever. Anyway, this is going to be my first ever unveiling of a Sony system that I'm going to witness. This is going to be crazy. So considering, you know, this is a pre-E3 um, episode, Here's my top 10 predictions on what I think is going to happen. And, um, you know, just let y'all know, this. there's things that I know already that I can't say. You guys are going to lose your, like, your whole tongue is going to come out the side of your kneecap hole. Let's go, baby. All right. First off is a price drop. You're going to see a price drop between PS3, 360, and the Wii U across the board. Alright, so you're supposed to see a, a price uh, drop there. Shout out to Michael Pack though, because he had mentioned that too. But, um, yeah, from people that I spoke with, it's damn near definite. You know what I'm saying? So you will see a price drop. Uh, number nine, which is a, a big one. But Kingdom Hearts 3 may be exclusive to the PlayStation 4. This right here is news that I heard from multiple sources, and um, it looks very promising. And uh, we already know Square Enix, you know, they came on um, stage for the reveal of uh, Sony's uh, machine February 20th, and they also said that they got something special that they're gonna announce at E3. Um, this could very well be it. We just gotta wait and see. But um, this is very strong. This is a very strong um, prediction. Uh, the next thing is Shinmu 3 may be revealed and that right there is a, that this right here will be a hit simply because Yu Suzuki you know what I'm saying like they they actually recently did interviews with this guy in Japan and um he wants it he wants to bring it back bad and uh we recently saw some leaked photos of um the voice I think the voice of um uh, Shinmu uh the lead character at Sega talking about it alongside with PlayStation and um that seems very interesting because Mark Cerny is trying to get this too uh, the next thing is number seven. PS4 will show off backwards capabilities through the Gaikai service. Now I'm not sure if they, uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be a part of PS Plus or or how they're going to do it. Maybe it's going to be a paid service. I'm not sure. But just think, when you get your PS4, you'll be able to play every PS1, every PS2, and every PS3 game on your PS4, as well as tablets and other devices. This that. Oh my God! Like that right there alone is a deal breaker right there. The people gonna buy it just just because of that. But I think that's gonna be uh, definitely shown on um, at the press conference. Uh, number six, Killer Instinct. Oh my God! Killer Instinct is gonna be shown um, on the Xbox One uh, at their press conference. This, this is supposed to be one of their uh, eight exclusive uh, IPs. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing that. So that's another prediction. Uh, number five, GTA 5 will be announced for the next generation systems, but also a PS Vita version um, of a side story is supposed to be announced as well. So this should be very interesting, considering you know the the game got pushed back to September. Wonder why? We'll see. You know what I'm saying? But that should be very interesting and a good pickup for PS Vita as well because they need that. And alongside Killzone coming out, that'll be a good look for them. So, number four, World of Warcraft exclusive to PlayStation 4 in the free-to-play model. That right there 
is going to be crazy and um i think this actually fits in line with um the actual partnership that was revealed with activision um at the february 20th um unveiling and stuff like that but yeah a lot of people because of the way sony is designed and in their attitude towards you know all developers not just indie but all developers they making it open man they want everybody to put their material on their system bottom line and this seems to be a big hit for them and for the world of warcraft franchise to transfer into the console world now with the way the systems is developed now number three cliffy b shout out to cliffy b but cliffy b may be doing something special with sony santa monica now i spoke with cliffy he said he was bored and he's ready to come back to the industry and do some things ubisoft spoke with him he, he was thinking about creating his own company, but then he's also thinking about joining someone. He was once with Xbox only with the Gears of War franchise. We may see his talent go to Sony Santa Monica. So that right there is crazy. Number two, Oculus Rift. Connect 2.0 games to be demonstrated so imagine having all the all the voice and movement being in a virtual reality space microsoft is doing a big doing big things with that so we should see that at the press conference and number one finally number one sony may bring back crash bandicoot and that's my top 10 predictions for e3 this is the hip-hop gaming show keeping it gangster you already know what time it is man see y'all there stay tuned for more coverage we out Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Hip Hop Gamer, and, you know, sometimes I like to take it back, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love what's going on right now, but, you know, you gotta go back in history so you guys can respect what I do and respect what I've done. So, you know what? Without further ado, take a look at the throwback E3 edition. I got sick interviews, man, so take a look. God bless. Yo, what's up? Come on, man. You already know what this is, baby. A different world, baby. The way you wait is my name. Kadeem, how you doing, man? God bless you, man. What's up? Everything is good, baby. Everything is good. That's what I'm talking about. I ain't gonna take up too much of your time. It's like Christmas in June. Yes, yeah, son, that's what I'm talking about. All right, first off, I gotta ask you a question. Are you a gamer for real? And if you are, what games you like, man? For real. For real, I am a for real gamer. Uh, My favorite game so far this year has been the Batman Arkham City. Batman Arkham City, a real game. Uh, uh, my favorite joint just came out, uh, Future Soldier. I oh, love that kind of game. No doubt, That's no my doubt. joint. Um, I got hooked on Red Dead and oh, had to what? I had to play it twice. Yo, you a real gamer, son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, man. I, I, I might have to look the game out. It's a good game that you don't know about, probably called. Binary Domain. Oh, I do know about it. Sega did that. Those are my peoples right there. I love that game, man. That's, Yo. That's the game that nobody know about that's real hot that I love. But uh, I like the big ones that, you know, that come that's out. Crazy. You know, it's, you know, I've been a gamer since, since games came out. Like, that's crazy. Yo, I got to put the belt on you. It'll be an honor for you to have the belt. Don't, don't forget to ask. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna do over? Uh, yeah. yeah, what games you got plans to do voiceovers for? I can't, I can't talk about it now. They told me they're gonna announce it at Comic Con, but I'm, I did motion capture for a game, and the whole thing that's coming out, big game coming out next year. That's amazing. So well, yeah, listen, I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. I got the belt. But oh, oh you know you got the belt. Got spin that too, son. Spin that, baby. Listen, man, it's an honor just to be in your presence, man. And it's good to see us brothers working hard doing something, man. Black people at E3, this is beautiful. And we found each other. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, Big Will looking out. You know, so I'm going to let you go, but can you just give a shout out to the Hip Hop Gamer Show? To the Hip Hop Gamer Show, my man keeps it real and he know about his games. All day, one love and God bless Hip Hop Gamer and we out. Peace. 
Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Hip Hop Gamer. Now, obviously, hip hop is a, hip hop is a culture. Gaming is a culture, and there's a lot that you need to learn. So we gotta go back in history sometimes and figure out exactly what gave us the love that we have for what we talk about and what we do. So this right here is this month in hip hop and gaming. Learn something, homie. <laughs> this month in hip hop. In June 1999, Ja Rule released his multi-platinum selling debut album, Veni Vedi Vici, on Murder, Inc. This month in gaming. In June of 1983, Nintendo released Mario Brothers in arcades. It was the debut of his brother Luigi. Now you could play in two-player mode. Yo, listen. I got something, son. Evil controllers is doing some big things. You know they be modern controllers and all that good, all that good stuff. But I got something for you, man. Something that you probably didn't see yet. You only gonna get the exclusive with your boy Hip Hop Gamer. So right now, let's go on the grind. Holla at your boy. Peace. G6. I got the need. I know you want it. You see the beat coming. You be the Hey yo, what's up, man? Welcome to another on the grind. We keeping it gangster right now, man. And I got. I got something special to show y'all, man. Now, first off, you know, you, you know this, you know what I'm saying? You already know what this is, right? Now, the question is, do you know what this is? Now, look closely, because you're gonna know some differences. You're gonna notice some differences, look closely. Now, if you look at this controller and stuff like that, notice the D-pad, you know what I'm saying? It's like one big button, right? But if you look at this controller, you see how the D-pad is separated, just like how the face buttons are? Like, that, is very interesting and I'm gonna explain everything. Now, if you look at the back, notice how you got the big back with this one with the battery pack, but notice how you don't have that with this one, yet they're both wireless. So, those are two main differences like that you see with these controllers, but I wanna give a big shout out to Evil Controllers. I hope, wait, where the logo at? All right, it's on this side, all right. Big shout out to Evil Controllers, you know what I'm saying? They doing big things and um, you know they, they develop a lot of modern controllers, um, they develop uh, a lot of controllers that like have certain feels or certain grips or certain things that like a lot of consumers request that the first parties don't um, provide. So to give you a rundown with this controller, um, if you look at the, in terms of comparison, if you look at the analog sticks on this one and stuff like that, they're more like the PlayStation ones, smaller, but they don't got, they're not concave. So you might like this controller better when it comes to the analog sticks. But the directional pad is very interesting. Now, I've, I've been telling everybody that fighting games on Xbox 360 was, really wasn't my forte, you know what I'm saying? But with this controller, because of the directional pad the way it is, it actually feels real good and the moves come out great. Like if you do a duking, you can still do like this if you want, but you can literally like do like this because it's spaced out and it comes out like so accurate, it's crazy. So it's a real good feel, real good difference. And the fact that you don't got that big back, it makes it more comfortable as you play wirelessly. So that right there is great. Also, just to let you know, there's another feature. You actually have the USB mini um, um, port right here so you can actually charge your controller whereas this controller you can't charge that way so in my opinion I feel evil controllers did a great job with this controller and in a lot of ways it's actually better than the actual first party Microsoft controller now another thing is the battery life on here this is the big selling point for this controller you could charge this one time and it'll last you I think 21 days off one charge you can play consistently and I think 21 days it'll, it'll last you you know what I'm saying I had this for close to a month and I haven't had to recharge it yet all right so in terms of battery life and just picking up and going this controller is king all right so I really really love it uh, it feels great and even though the analogs even though these analogs is you know a little better these still feel great regardless. So Evil Controllers, man, make sure you go to evilcontrollers.com. Give them a chance, give them a look, see everything that they have to offer. And um, I guarantee you they got something there that uh, you would like. And as a hardcore gamer and modern controllers, you really, really need to take a look at it. You'll be surprised at how much better your gaming can be with a controller like this. Especially depending on the type of games you play, all right? So, other than that, one love and God bless your boy Hip Hop Gamer that was on the ground with Evil Controllers, man. We out. What's up, Hip Hop Gamer? Summer Jams, you already know. That was the highlight of hip hop. I'm about to explain it to you in detail right now. Let's go. In the end, it'll only lead our country.
Yo, listen. Hot 97 Summer Jams was fire, son. Fire with the capital F I R. All right? Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you now. Seriously, like, it was a joy to be there. And here's my highlights, real quick. So I'm gonna sum it up real fast before I give you guys my deep analysis in another video. All right? Now, listen. Meek Mill, number one highlight for me. This dude, oh my God, when he came out and he did Dreams and Nightmares, yo, not only was the crowd going crazy, but this dude got the persona, the energy, the lyric, like the lyrics delivery. He just, he's that dude right now. Real talk, he's amazing. So that moment right there, if he wasn't there, I can't even explain it to you. That was one of my first highlights. Another highlight I had was just Kendrick Lamar, his overall presence, his overall delivery, and just his songs and his like lyrical style to see that live yo it was like shut down like west coast was in the building when he was there it was so hard like it was crazy and then he had him and asap rocky together so that was crazy to see all of them it was like like a new wu-tang or something it was, they was just going crazy on stage that was amazing another highlight this is crazy. I know a lot of people will be like looking at me like I'm wildin', but I'm not a big fan of Lil Wayne. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan. He got a few joints here and there, but I'm not an overall fan. But when Lil Wayne came out, the yo, the whole audience erupted. And when he came out, he did his thing. Him, Rick Ross, the whole Made uh Maybach team, they doing their thing in the industry right now. You cannot take nothing from them. So that was an amazing highlight right there. Now Wu-Tang, so you see my shirt, so you already know what it is. Now, when Wu-Tang came out, all I gotta say is this. Met the man, held it down. Wu-Tang overall, you know, you know they bring that energy. I mean, as soon as they came out with like, Look like, yo, when as soon as they came out with that, it was like, ah, it was crazy, son. So, to me overall, I just had a great time with Summer Jams. Miguel performed, he ain't let drop nobody, so that was good. But he brought Mariah Carey out, that was, woo, yeah. That was crazy, all right? Chris Brown, he was performing, but I ain't gonna front. Like, he couldn't stop moving. I think he was on something, for real. But, like, but he did a good job, though. He did a good job toward up. But, yeah, he's on something right at that moment. He's wild. Um, uh, Wale, uh, Wale was all right. You know what I'm saying? He's all right. Um, Joe Budden did good, man. I think that show helped him out. Like, or something, because he did good and he represented, man. So, but everybody overall was good. You know, I, I thought, um, I thought it was a great show overall. So, that was the highlights and, um, Yo, can't wait for Summer Jam next year, man. 21. All right? Peace. Hey, everyone. It's Danny, and it's time to announce the winner of the Hip Hop Gamer giveaways for the last episode of the Hip Hop Gamer Show. To claim your prize, send a direct message on Twitter to Hip Hop Gamer Inc. And the winner is... Drum roll, please. CJ! Congratulations, and thank you for participating. Make sure to send us a direct message to claim your prize of $100 to spend on some super stylish gear from Insert Coin Clothing. Now, it's time for this week's Hip Hop Gamer Giveaways. The question this week is, which of the following systems was released in Japan as the family computer? To submit, make sure you follow us on Twitter at Hip Hop Gamer Inc. and tweet us your answer. This week's prize is a chance to win an appearance on the Hip Hop Gamer Show. If you don't live in the New York City area, don't worry. We will include a video submitted by the winner on the show instead. Back to you, Hip Hop. Good looking out, Danny. I told you, call yourself fly, man. You front, all right? You know what I'm saying? You listen to your boy. But anyway, check this out. Big congratulations to my boy CJ. You know what I'm saying? You won the insert coin jump, uh, jump off. So I hope you enjoy it when you get it. It's gangster from your boy Hip Hop Gamer. Hip Hop Gamer Inc. The whole team, the whole staff, everybody involved. Now, it's about that time. It's about the time to get out of here. Yo, we out, man. E3, man. Don't talk to me. I don't want to even know nothing right now. So I'll see y'all in a couple of weeks, all right? E3, baby. Let's go. We out. See y'all later. I want you all to know what the fans are so I'm going to stand